anterior vitrectomy technique. Always be prepared for this by understanding the equipment to be used and the machine set up. Always use a low bottle height and set the vitreous cutter at greater than 350 cuts per minute. Always use a separate infusion. For example, a 19 gauge butterfly through a separate infusion site. Enlarge the paracentesis to allow the vitreous cutter through this port. Direct the flow of BSS away from the capsular hole rather than into it. The use of a dispersive viscoelastic can help tamponide the vitreous back, preventing it from further prolapsing into the anterior chamber and possibly out through the sections. Try to conserve as much capsule as possible, particularly the anterior capsular axis. Push the vitrector into the capsule rent, into the anterior vitreous, and draw vitreous back from the anterior segment into the posterior segment. If fragments of lens or cortex are lost into the anterior vitreous, do not chase them. They will often come forward induced by flow and can be dealt with once in the anterior vitreous or anterior chamber. Always check the corneal section and paracentesis as vitreous often is trapped at the edge of these. Continue until all vitreous is cleared. Check by passing either the infusion needle or a separate probe across the pupil looking for pupil tugging. Always do these movements gently. Inject acetylcholine to constrict the pupil and look for any pupil peaking, which is indicative of a vitreous strand still present. In this video, cortex is being removed in addition to the simple cutting of vitreous. It is an advanced technique and involves the intermittent use of INA when vitreous is cleared. Its main aim is to ensure a quiet eye by removal of as much cortex as possible. At the finish, one can use a dry swab very gently to assess whether there is vitreous present at the section or not by looking for deformation of the pupil. However, do not do it as in this video, but rather avoid any traction on the vitreous as this may be transmitted to the retina.